Hello everybody, welcome back to Strategic Command, Paradox Game of Play. This is probably going to be the last episode of this campaign, uh, given that we are right outside Stalingrad, and Stalingrad is the last um, town that we need to take, or city. So we start in uh, Murmansk, where we still have these 42nd Rifle Corps, and they are pretty tough. I keep taking them down to 5 and they slowly take the strength points off of my units. Finally they're below uh, 30 readiness down to 29. So what I would do if, if it was to continue obviously I would send a warship up to uh, cut the supply. But there's no time for that anyway. So let's head out to sea where we have vision on one of the British battleships, which ran into one of my subs last time. And I believe I can take it out with my subs. Let's see, three damage on that sub, and then we can take it out with this one. And five damage from that sub. These guys will head back home. Let's go up there. And these subs are crisscrossing. Something like that. Nothing there. We got the Italian sub, it's on the way back, I think. Yeah, supply is low. So send this one out. Send this one back. Battle cruiser goes up here. Crisscross this area. And this area here. And then got another sub here which needs to replenish. <clears throat> and the carrier is back to full speed. Get it out here. I think that's it for my uh, navy. Now uh, this one, Shoot. replenish, that takes us into the med where we have these guys heading towards Gibraltar. Just in case Spain joins in, but they have not joined in this entire game. This one is also heading for Gibraltar. And the other navy is heading up here. We can see that the Soviets got two um, two harbors left. Let's try and bomb the subs. Three damage. Nice. Zoom in on that. So I wonder if these battleships can do anything. Let's see. Yeah, they can. Submarine dives away. Dives away again. There it is. And one more battleship here. And then we have the Turkish battle cruiser which is actually better but it dives away the submarine will try and find it there it is the 
just uh, encircle it so if it leaves this location it will go through one of my ships and it will take uh, maybe it can go through the um, I think it can probably go through the subs anyway let's uh, go and blockade this harbor here let's go down in here we have the Turks now in the game let's bring the cavalry over there uh, okay these guys cannot operate so they're gonna move very slowly there are no railways in Turkey everything has to be moved manually but we can do some of that or we could set them out to sea over here and then just land them in Batumi. How does that work? Let's see. Yeah, we can do that. I got the points. We could also transport to here to traps on. It's probably better. Just transport to Trapsun. Can almost get there. This one can also transport. And what about this one? No, but it can operate. It can operate to Yogats where this guy is. Or to let's see in the south down here. We're just gonna move them out. So they can't force much. I think we're going to transport all of these guys, so just get them somewhere from where they can actually transport. These guys go to max. Get this one. We can actually transport the headquarter as well. Get this one up here. This one will force march up here. Actually should have transported from Smyrna. That was the Turks, except for this one here, what is it gonna do? come back this way. Now over here we can see the railway line has been cut that means Baku goes down to three supplies so we need to retake that by moving in here. That should take it back up to five. Deal some losses. And that one's gone. That's pretty much what we can do down here. We can start working on these guys who are now out of supply. But I'm also taking losses from that guy. 14th Rifle Corps. That takes us to the southern front of Russia. And if we start over here these guys are desperate for some reinforcements, but I have no headquarter nearby. I'm gonna make sure we get that next turn. Oh, taking Salsk would be really nice. So I'm gonna move over there. And take out that one. And the Romanians can come in here and start working on Selsk. Uh, these guys, that doesn't matter. Let's take Krasnodar. No, let's just stay here because we want the headquarter close by. So we're going to move the headquarter down here. The cavalry will stay put. Uh, Kotelnikovo is at 10. 
and it's currently not able to I'm not able to take it let's see Stalingrad just a straight-up attack in there is what we want we do not have a headquarter nearby here I only have one down here that's definitely not the way it should be All right, that's actually the game so this is the last turn and we don't have to really uh, from who can this guy oh there is a headquarter there I'm blind all right just get the headquarter closer uh, let's bomb Kotel Nikovo these guys fire fire again force them out take it now these guys have a problem with supplies uh, supply 5 from down here can't can't reach for supply 5 from, from Selsk 5 4 3 2 1 can just reach let's uh, push these guys through a little bit further and they will still be in supply there. These guys are a little depleted, but they're okay. And then we need to push these guys down here. These guys down here. We could even close this one up a little further. No, that's fine the way it is. So these guys should be all out of supply, all of them, in the coming turn. Now the Romanians are going to push in this way. get these guys over there get the armor back there and bring the Romanians forward and the armor goes in there now they still have supplies from the several supply uh, sources down here the Romanian headquarter will go to Rostov And the Italians they are simply just pushing through here I still got a shot with that one now these guys are cavalry so they should be easy no they're not that's weird. Yeah, Borisoklepsk. I need to take Borisoklepsk. I'll use my armor here for that. Plus some infantry. And we'll take it. Now these guys are in serious trouble. So we'll bring the armor through. And down he goes. Oh, this is too easy, man. It's almost too bad that the uh, game ends here because he's, uh, the whole entire southern flank, if you zoom out a little bit here, is gone. There's a cavalry unit there. The new headquarter of Kobe Yishev is completely unprotected, it looks like. Uh, but anywho, we are moving up with these guys.
pushing them back, then bringing these guys up. Get the artillery over here, then it can't fire. Fresh guys forward. Uh, we want the headquarter close there, so we go there and then the headquarter there. Italians will just push up this way into nothing. But we do have some headquarters we can link up with each other. like that. Something like that. Can I take the Pripyat pocket before the end of the game? Yes. Yeehaw! Bring them up to the railway line. They are ready to to move out. Now, Riazan, Moscow has been taken. So Kalinin is important because that supplies everyone around here right now. Entrenchment level is two here. We have a lot of aircraft, and they need to do their job. Okay, try one more time. And one more. We're starting to take losses. Uh, but I don't have any heavy hitters around here, so... Well, we can keep the pressure on. I don't think the rockets have hit anything. Nibelwaffe has been a lot better. We can push these guys out of Vishni Volochik, they will be out of supply as well. That would depend on this guy. That's too bad actually. Unless, we, yeah, we can move these guys back and then these guys forward and then we can take it. There we go. Boom. So Kalinin is not going to fall this turn. Maybe I can take the hit and then move back. And then we, if we have some hard hitters like these guys down here. Or this one. question is can it move away then no so it won't work uh, then over here we'll start working on these guys they'll get no rest maybe we can move these guys back down yes Got some armor here that is in very good shape. If I can take out this one with the infantry right at hand here. Which it looks like. Then we could bring in the armor and uh, tag Riasan itself. For two and four and we got more armor here 
That is gone. So taking Rias on, these guys are now in trouble. There's no supply anywhere. Yeah, Vladimir actually. That's the only one they have left, including Kalinin. Uh, Vladimir. So we need to take out these guards unit here. But that's in the woods, so I'll probably just leave that for some infantry. These guys have already fired. Defensive artillery. Let's do the prepared attack first and then move up. Or back. And then we can bring up some really heavy stuff. Like these guys. If they follow the road, they should be fine. some engineers oh, that headquarters is almost dead maybe if we can do like this and this then it's gone This is uh, this is just slaughter. There's no <laughs> six. No challenge in this. Absolutely not. Fortifications destroyed. Okay, I'm taking some losses. I think we are okay. How far up can these guys go? They can go to here. Ouch. And then there. Okay, can anybody reach that cavalry? Yes, these guys can. If I move up there, go there and finish off these guys. And then we have the armor here. We just move these guys out of the way. Bring up fresh guys. Pushing them back. And follow up on that. Pushing them back even further. These guys haven't taken a shot yet, but uh, they can't really reach much. Uh, let's remove these guys away. They can, they can move up here and take a shot. Right, that was a really deadly fa uh, turn for the Soviets. Look at that. They got Vladimir left here for supplies. Uh, Kalinin is holding on a little bit longer. These guys are out of supply. These guys are out of supply. These guys down here are out of supply. And up here, things are looking even worse for them. I even forgot to move these guys in the last turn. The Finns have cut the approach from this side. So what we want to do here is, I think, just replenish these guys. We're starting to bring more units up this way. Although supply is pretty low up here, so replenish this guy. Gotta get the headquarter up a little bit further. And then the Germans down here. Didn't get pretty far. Uh, but not far enough. Let's go up here. And they get pushed out of the way, so we have to move up there. Come up there. We now have linked up 
east of Lake Ladoga. Bring more armor there. And here. And we'll start moving on Tikwin. It's well entrenched, so it will take a little while to get there. Let's get some headquarters up as close as possible. Well, supply is pretty low here, but... Um, back to 8 I think, no, to max. This one cannot, go back to Novgorod, leave those guys there. And I think that's it. So look at the big picture, no, zoom in a little bit more, see we have these guys here on the ropes on the verge of actually cutting this the north here completely nothing to defend here Moscow has fallen they do have some forces here but they will soon be out of supply as soon as Kalinin falls and we're on the march to Gorky and Kazan if I continued if I didn't take Stalingrad uh, they're pretty strong down here though but they would fall within the matter of yeah maybe before the end of the year what date is it now? It's August. Okay, maybe not before the end of the year, but pretty soon the Soviets would be completely taken out. So I think it's time to take a look at some reports. Uh, these are how many units that we have. The Germans got 213, the Soviets are down to 71. 27 Italy, 16 USA, and 17 UK. Air units, we have 18 plus the 6 uh, Italian. Soviets got 15 air units now. 6 for USA and 10 for UK. Navy, 26 for Germany plus the 10 from Italy. Britain, Britain got 4, 3 of those are subs, and then 1, UK, uh, one US and 1 USSR. Look at the pie chart, I have 58% of all units total plus the 10% from the Italians, that's 68% of all units, more than two-thirds. So I get from towns, I get 87 um, MPPs, I get 84 from ports, 9 from oil, and 16 from the mines. We can also check Italy, they don't have a lot of that. Losses. The Soviets have lost a whopping 343 units, land units only. Wow. I have lost zero. 49 to USA, 50 land units for the UK, 12 from France, and 5 from Poland. No losses to Italy or Germany. 9 air units UK, plus 1 French, and 1 Soviet. Naval, 24 UK ships, 10 USA. I did lose 7 ships, German. We can go into the detail losses, but that's not probably not uh, necessary. We can see the majority of the Soviet uh, def uh, losses are regular cores, 242. 36 guards rifle and 20 27 mechanized I lost one pocket battleship, one battleship one battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers and two submarines Italy actually has no losses whatsoever that's interesting Let's check the graphs. These graphs are really not that uh, interesting to watch, but what we can do is watch the morale. I my morale ended at yeah, very high. 
Soviet morale plummeted at the right at the end after they lost Leningrad, uh, Moscow, and then Stalingrad. It's down to 61. I got 138. US morale is 88, and UK 38. Uh, as for research, I maxed out production and industrial, command and control, and almost infantry. And we're also working on the last level of logistics, spying and intelligence and armor. Okay. If I am to continue, I would max out anti-submarine and also build up naval and air aircraft. As for diplomacy, we never got Spain in. They're still at 82%. They start pretty high and we never really got them. That's, uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, Syria is 25, Saudi Arabia 25, Ireland 33. Only, only Saudi Arabia is aligned towards the allies at 25%. Uh, bu 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 war maps. This is an overview of the convoy maps. I get convoys from Finland, Sweden, Norway. The Soviets got one there. Uh, what else is there? Strategy map, that's this one that we know. And I could actually, at the end, buy one more Panzer Corps and one more armor. Another tactical bomber as well. Three carriers, or I could get up to five carriers total. Alright. Do I have anything in production right now? No. I stopped building stuff a long time ago. Anyway, so if we had to recap on this um, mod, then I would say it's way too easy for the Axis, or at least we could say that the Soviets are way too weak. Um, removing destroyers from the game is actually also uh, not working the way I, th I suppose it's intended to, because naval warfare gets even more weird than it already was and gives a huge advantage to the Germans because they have a lot of submarines and the submarines are very difficult to take out at least until you level up the uh, technology a little bit so I don't like the idea of taking away the ships um, then there's the uh, thing about taking away the armies although Italy still has two armies they start with two armies um, yeah, there, there's one there. Um, I kind of like that idea though. I like the idea of only having smaller units like the Army Corps for for the main unit of the game. Having armies in there is is uh, not working. The headquarters should be army and that's exactly what they are here. They are called 11th Army Headquarters you can see here. So the headquarters are the armies and then they have the cores underneath them. That's the way I want it to be. So that I uh, very much like about this mod. Um, other than that, I don't know. I'm gonna take a look at what other mods are out there, if any of them are uh, finished enough so I can play them. I could also do uh, take a look at some of the classic strategic command if you guys uh, wanna see those. Maybe not full campaigns like this one, but at least some gameplay videos. I could do that. Um, so yeah, leave some comments below what uh, kind of games you would like me uh, to see me playing. And also, if you want to elaborate on that, if you want to tell me uh, what the, the type of, of series, like do you want smaller series, just gameplay videos, stuff like that, or do you really like the longer Let's Play campaigns like uh, like this one let me know but anyway I'm actually not done yet I still have to click the turn button and I think yeah I think the X the allies has to move 
No, it uh, goes straight to the victory. Uh, Axis decisive victory. Gotta love the view of those Panthers. Anyway, let's click that and see. Can you see uh, all the units uh, now? Yeah, you can actually. So we can see all the uh, allied. Let's just do that for a second. Uh, right, let's see. There are some British units up here. We have three submarines, as we know. There's still some aircraft in uh, on the Western Islands. On Iceland, there's some aircraft there. Of course, Gibraltar is still British, and there is a coastal gun there. Then in Canada, we have loads of British units, including a battleship here called Queen Elizabeth. The US have a battleship here, the Alabama. And we can see the US are sending troops over again. We have foiled all the other attempts. There's nothing else out in the Atlantic currently. And down here, the British also have some aircraft in Persia. And if we take a look at the Eastern Front, we can see the Soviets are relatively strong at in the Baku area and also south of Rostov. Um, they did have one unit in Saratov and that's the only one standing in my way towards uh, Kubyeshev. Nobody in Gorky. So what we saw before is actually what they have in this area. And not much up here either. So the Soviets are pretty pretty screwed. I think that's it for now. Yeah. I think I'll uh, just uh, leave it here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll uh, see you around. Bye-bye.